the Bethlehem View um, residence panel has been running for quite a while now. Um, they've been in the past responsible for, they, they've organised trips um, and events for the, the residents of Bethlehem Boo. But the reason why I nominated them for this award is because they've all worked incredibly hard, particularly over the past two years, to develop a plot of land that is directly behind two of the Bethlehem Boo properties. And they decided that they wanted to create a communal garden there so that people of, of the street could use it. They worked incredibly hard on it. They've been very empowered. They've gone off and they, they've got funding to help them to work on the garden. And they've all chipped in and developed this area. And it is now, it's a great area that can be used by, uh, by all of the community. I think I was quite surprised when I first found out about the Bethlehem View panel. And I went to one of their meetings and um, I walked in and saw this group of Mr. Omar sitting on the table and they are a, lo a lovely bunch of people and they're really hard working and they told me about what their plans were for the garden at this point I hadn't seen it. Then when I went down and saw they were actually doing to the garden I was so impressed. The, the way they've gone about things and they, they've gone off and done it themselves uh, with minimal assistance from us um, you know and they've contacted us if they have needed help but they've done it all themselves they work really hard. And what I like about the garden now is you can see how much thought has gone into it. They haven't just thought about, oh, this is a garden for, for Bethlehem View. They've made it so that it's an area that everybody can enjoy. They've made sure that um, it's wheelchair accessible. They've got a, a picnic area where people can go and have and sit in the sun and have lunch. They've got benches. They've worked with the local schools um, on doing pyrography, which is uh, now displayed on the fences as, as you walk in. They've also thought about the local, the local school children, which I, I think is great. They've, they've made sure that there's chalkboards that the, the children can write on, and they've got activity sheets so, so that the children can come on, on visits and learn about wildlife. They've got uh, chickens that they keep there and teach the kids about uh, you know, how the hens are laying, and um, they've got rabbits, and, and they've, they've, got, they've thought about squirrels, and um, you know, they've got bird houses, which they've all worked on. The fact that this was a derelict area, it was an attraction for antisocial behaviour, it was an eyesore, and now that's been completely transformed into this area that all of the residents can enjoy. It's literally the heart of, of Bethlehem View, and I think not only is it benefiting them as the Bethlehem View community, but it's benefiting members from the whole of Clan Aran and outside the area, and I think. It's nice to see that they've all got this place where they can meet and they meet new people and build new, new friendships and renew the old friendships. I think I speak for myself and everybody in Royal Housing Association when I say how proud we are of Bethlehem View and how much work they put into the garden.